In this class, I'm going to show you how you can do test-driven development using JUnit. So we'll take an example of a point class which represents a point on a two-dimensional coordinate system. And this point class, let's say it's, it has to support methods like getting the midpoint between two points or scaling the point to a different point. So let's create the JUnit test first. So in test-driven development, you first write the test cases and provide dummy implementations for the methods in your class. So after you have written your test methods, all the test methods will fail on the first run. Then you go and add the test code, uh, the real code in your point class. And once you have added the real code, you run your JUnit tests again and verify that they all pass. If they all pass, that means your code is good. So let's start with a class called a, J, a JUnit test case class called point class. So I say new JUnit test case and I'm creating it under training source test Java and I'm calling it as point test and I'll create a setup under teardown and I will not even give the class under test. At this point of time, I, I even don't know what the... Uh, uh, even though it's a point class, I'm not uh, specifying anything. Let's generate the class also on the fly. Okay, so let's, let's say finish. And now it's, it's going to create me this. Okay, let's say I want to add a method called, test a method called midpoint on the point class. So what I'll say, I'll add the test an annotation. And I'll say public void test midpoint. And in this method, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a point P1 equal to new point, uh, let's say 3 comma 5. Now I don't even have the point class. So now Eclipse will complain about that. Now I can say create class point, okay. And where do I need to create that point? I'm going to create it in my source main Java. And in here, I'm going to use the same package name as my test package name. Okay. And I'm going to say finish. So now it's cre it has created a class called point for me. Okay. Now I go back to point test. It has created that point. Now it needs a constructor which takes two integer arguments. So I go back and say create constructor for point. So everything gets created on the fly for me. And I save this. Go back to point test. Now do I see any errors? No. I see one error here called at the rate test. So I'm going to say import test. Now that error is also gone away. So it has imported the test from JUnit. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to create one more point called point 2. And here I'm going to say 9 and 3. So I've created one more point. Now I want to calculate the mid uh, midpoint between these two points. So I'm going to say P1 dot midpoint okay and in this I'll pass p2 as a second argument and I want this to return me a new point p3 and now this midpoint doesn't exist now see I'm creating the method methods also on the fly I'll say create method midpoint and it's going to be create me a midpoint and it's going to return me null which is like a stub implementation. So it has added a to-do here. So we need to fill up those to-dos after we write the test. By the way, I forgot to write uh, the constructor for this guy. So I'm going to remove this to-do and I'm going to say this dot x equal to i and this dot y equal to j where x and y are the x coordinates and the y coordinates. Okay, now x and y are not defined. I'll go and say create field x in point x and create field y in point y. Now these two are created, save it. 
go back to point test now i have created the point 3 now what is my i have to expected uh, i have an expected value for x which is nothing but 3 plus 9 by 2 right so that is around 6 that is my expected x and what is my expected y would be 5 plus the, which is adding the 5 coordinates divided by 2 now the expected y and actual y so I'll say assert equals expected x not correct and I'll say what is my actual value of x int actual x equal nothing but 0.3 dot x but x is a private instance variable so I need a variable uh, an accessor, accessor called get x similarly I need a get y now I'm going to add those methods on the fly so create get get x in point point and it needs a stub it, it has created a stub so I'm going to say return this dot x okay that is fixed now I need a get y go and create the y as well uh, create method get y and here it needs to return this dot y and remove the to do as soon as you are provided the actual implementation remove the to do okay now get y is also done so let's do the assert for x as first expected x not correct so you provide the expected x and the actual x and then you also do the same thing for expected y not correct expected y and actual y and this assert equals it's having a problem what is the problem add the static import or j unit assert dot star and this expected y is a problem fix that that's it now I've created the test now I'm going to run this test say run as j unit test so I'll expect it to fail because this point midpoint method right now is returning null because I have not provided any implementation so now I have the complete test in place and I have the uh, stubs as well and my test is failing so in test driven development you first write the test provide some stubs and the test initially fails now you know the requirement and your and the corresponding test cases to satisfy the requirement now let's go and add the real code to make it pass so what should midpoint do which midpoint should return me a new point which is uh, this dot x plus point two dot x divided by two comma and then I need I need to do the same thing for y coordinate as well so it will be p2 dot y and this dot y by 2 and now I can remove the to do because I have provided the implementation and now I'll run my test again and my test passes that means my implementation is correct now let's do it for one more method just as an example I'll do it for the method called scale which will scale a point by a certain factor so I'll create uh, I'll just copy this guy and modify it so here I'm testing a method called scale okay so I have created a new point and then I in this method I need to scale it by a certain factor let's say I want to scale it by three times so x coordinate becomes 9 and the y coordinate should become 15 and the method is called as scale and the scaling factor I'm using is 3 so it creates me a new point called p2 
okay and here I'm expecting this to be let's say the scaling factor is 3 so instead of hard coding it I'll make it as an argument and here I'm saying expected x is nothing but p1 dot x multiplied by scale and expected y is nothing but p1 dot y multiplied by scale and the scale doesn't exist so I'm going to create a method called scale create method scale in point now it has created that a stub for it which is returning null save this guy go into go to point test and now my actual x is nothing but p2 dot get x my actual y is nothing but p2 dot get y and what is the problem here oh it this is not visible so I have to use the get x multiplied by scale and here I have to use the get y multiplied by scale now let me run this method again run this class again the first one passes and the second one fails because my stub implementation for scale is returning null so in the point test it's going to uh, this p2 will be null so p2 dot get x will throw a null pointer exception because p2 is null now let me go and add the implementation for that so this guy return just needs to multiply it and return by that factor so I'll just say return new point I have to multiply this by scale and I can remove the divided by 2 and for this guy I need to say this dot y multiplied by scale and I can remove the to do and now I'm going to run my tests again and all my tests are now passing so in, in this demo I've shown you how you start with the test class first write the test methods and write the code on the fly for your class so first your test should fail after you have written the test methods then you write the code and all your tests should pass so this is how you do test driven development using JUnit